Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So most global equity markets have actually rallied quite strongly yesterday uh, and we had a, a number of, uh, of rate cuts over in Korea and uh, New Zealand over overnight, which uh, not all of it was completely expected. So we've seen some big moves in New Zealand dollar and the Korean won. Most uh, Asian markets also spiking up higher, taking uh, cheer from the uh, kind of late rally that we got on the US 30 right there. So firmly bullish and gulfing pattern, um, mainly boosted by a lot of tech stocks that did very well yesterday. Uh, and if we actually look back on the economic data uh, front, we need to talk about the crude oil inventories as well. So uh, that dropped much more than expected. Um, so that was a, a decent boost for crude oil West Texas. In regards to economic data today, um, we still have US employment data and retail sales that will be keenly watched uh, and that will be good for a lot of FX pairs as well. But the US 30 really pushing higher. Um, UK 100, similar pattern, uh, so bullish and gulfing pattern right there. Still in the middle of two ranges, 9606 is the potential resistance with uh, 9771 as potential support. Uh, quite a surprising move actually by a lot of global equity markets because nothing has really dramatically changed um, from yesterday from the day before to be completely honest. Greece is still um, not any closer to getting a deal. Uh, interest rate talk is still the same way as it was. Uh, maybe it's a bit of a relief rally in that instance but Japan 225 also doing quite well. Um, another bullish engulfing pattern seems to be on its way to retargeting 2868 um, with the US dollar still losing a little bit of momentum versus other FX pairs, not really um, fighting back too hard at the moment. So actually, let's have a look at dollar yen. Um, dollar yen, um, very bad day yesterday, incidentally, but we talked about that first thing in the morning. That was in the back of um, comments from the Bank of Japan Governor Kuroda, who said that the dollar yen exchange rate was probably as bad as weak as, as they kind of uh, predicted as they would see. Um, people saw that as some verbal intervention by the Bank of Japan, um, basically kind of saying, well, we don't want it to go uh, any weaker than what it currently is, cause especially because they're a country that import uh, a lot of raw materials and a weaker yen isn't necessarily that good for the country. Good for a lot of export uh, to you know export a lot of their goods um, outside of the country, but not so good uh, to obviously repatriate money back into the country, sorry, but not so good if you need to uh, purchase a lot of commodities to take back in. So that's where we are with dollar yen, bouncing around the 21 period SMA with uh, 121.87 as next potential support should that fail, otherwise a move up to 124.42 could be on the cards. So moving on to crude oil West Texas, we mentioned yesterday that the crude oil inventory stocks actually dropped. Uh, way more than expected. They're expecting minus 1.14 million, came in more like minus 6 million. Um, so that helped uh, with Texas move up a little bit higher. But we're actually getting pretty close now to the short term potential resistance around about 61.80. Um, maybe about a dollar away from there right now, with $64 being the next potential resistance. Dollar taking a back seat right now is helping uh, West Texas build a little bit of um, momentum behind itself. So then moving on to gold, um, gold did spike higher yesterday during the day only to tail off later on in the session. You can see that by the candle that it broke up through 11.86 but then um, reverse course and actually closed bang on that potential support level and um, we followed on with a bit of uh, downwards momentum again this morning. Other technical indicators pretty neutral to be completely honest. Um, the MACD is almost got a bullish cross but not quite yet. The death cross on the moving averages you can almost ignore because we're moving sideways right now so that wouldn't necessarily be a valid signal but 1186 as ever is remaining relatively strategic. So moving on to euro dollar, um, euro dollar has been sideways last uh, couple of sessions. You can see here it's trying to grind up that a little bit higher uh, but it's not reached there as of yet. Uh, kind of a doji formation the last couple of days. Today we're down a little bit as well. Um, we really want to get a decent move above um, one, maybe one spot 14 would be would be decent. Uh, but we're a good bit away from there right now. We're only at 112.90. Um, but we need to get above the tips of these candles right here, and that will really help us move forward. So moving on to GBP USD to finish things up. Um, decent day yesterday. We've Strangely reverse course already this morning, um, back into the term period SMA, one spot, 56 is the potential resistance. I guess a lot of good news uh, potentially still to come for the UK with the 
George Osborne, our uh, Chancellor over here, uh, coming out with a lot of pro-Britain commentary about getting the deficit down, selling stakes in the RBS and the post office returning money to the taxpayer to fill up the coffers. Uh, and that could be quite good for Sterling longer term. Um, but we have been doing quite well, but uh, Sterling certainly uh, had a little bit of air let, let out um, this morning. Uh, and we are looking to uh, potentially rechallenge one spot 54.24 as the potential support. So we obviously already covered what's coming today. Retail sales is the big one. Uh, that's going to be important for potential interest rate decisions in the US. Employment is a weekly figure, so it's still important, but uh, retail sales is going to be more significant. And then Friday, you've got Eurozone industrial production, so that'll be useful if you're trading uh, your dollar. And then you've got PPI uh, and then the University of Michigan consumer sentiment data at 3 p.m. UK time tomorrow. So as ever, keep you on the chart forum, make insights part of your life going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.